Hi everybody, it's Sandy Shepard from Norman, Oklahoma. Welcome back. Don't be alarmed, nothing wrong with your monitor. I'm just really depressed because of this weather, so I'm going to visualize that I am somewhere else, somewhere tropical. Now I'm laying on a perfect sandy beach. Waves are lapping onto the beach from the ocean. There are beautiful and exotic tropical flowers everywhere. And I'm wondering now what's under the surface of that aqua blue water. I'm trying to visualize what kind of fish might be under there. I've never been a scuba diver, so I've never had the opportunity to go too far under the surface of the ocean. But I'm sure there are many, many beautiful things right now. And I'm laying here on this beach with the sun beating down on me and Ah, oh, there's a cool tropical breeze and it makes everything just perfect. And then, oh, wow, look at these parrots over in the trees. And, oh, now a, there's going to be a beautiful sunset coming, I can just tell. And now, oh, look at those whales. But, holy cow, now what? I guess that cow popped into my head to remind me that it's time to come up with a new recipe for week four desserts in the Philadelphia cream cheese contest. So now that I have tropical fever instead of spring fever, I just can't help but want to come up with some good dessert using key limes. Okay, here's what I've come up with. I'm going to call my dessert my key lime infused cake bites with double strawberry and chocolate mint Philly spreads. Yum, that sounds good already. I'll start by making the syrup infusion made with the key limes. In a small saucepan over high heat, whisk together the water, the sugar, lemon and lime zests, and the key lime juice. Keep whisking and cook this for a full five minutes, then pour it into a bowl through a strainer and immediately put it into an ice bath. When it's cooled, stir in the limoncello liqueur. Now on to the spreads. These take no time at all. First the double strawberry cream spread. In a small saucepan over low heat, melt your butter, add the strawberry preserves and the heavy cream, and stir this until the preserves are melted. That just takes a minute. Then remove it from the heat and fold in your strawberry cream cheese and mix thoroughly. Next is the chocolate mint cream spread. Pour the pudding mix and the half and half into a mixing bowl and whisk for a minute or so, and then fold in the whipped cream cheese. That's it. Put them in serving dishes. You're ready to go. Then grab a big serrated knife and start cutting up your store-bought angel food cakes into bite-sized pieces of all kind of an equal size, please. And then put those into a large baking dish and pour the key lime syrup over each and every piece, don't miss any, and let that cake sit in that syrup and soak up all of that yumminess. This is going to be so good. That's it. How simple is that? Then all you need to do is come up with your own unique tropical serving platter setting and enjoy your own tropical getaway right at home. Believe me, your friends will call you brilliant. I know. I've been called brilliant before over my food. Well, on occasion anyway. And now I'm back. Let me show you the dessert. It really turned out good. Oh, I am so excited about this dessert. Just using two little containers of Philadelphia cream cheese, strawberry and just regular whipped. And look what we came up with. And what could be better than serving this with fresh strawberries? But what is better than strawberries and chocolate fudge mint? Well, I'll tell you what's better with it. What's better is putting it all over these little key lime infused cake bites. So I'm going to try one now. Start with the strawberry. Let's see what we have here. Mmm. Delicious. A definite winner. How about the chocolate mint? Mmm. I don't know how anything could be better than that, but... Mmm. 
Mmm. Just as good. This is just the perfect light little dessert with a tropical feel that'll boost everybody's spirits, I think, when they taste it. So hopefully you will taste it. And here's a little something to go with the dessert. Now, with a dessert like this, any kind of drink will do, whether it has alcohol in it or not. I What I've done is made a little lemon limeade, just sugar, water, sugar to taste, however sweet or unsweet you'd like it, and the juice of one lemon and one lime. And I put just a little tiny splash of this lemon cello in it. So I'm gonna take a taste and see how this turned out. Mmm, mm -hmm. nothing like fresh lemonade and limeade. So, well, today I think was a success. It shows that you can put together a very festive looking and tropical looking dessert in a very short time. And really it was very economical too. So I'd like to thank all of you women of the real women of Philadelphia for being here in my kitchen again today. And Paula, I want to thank you especially too. This has been the most fun doing these videos and coming up with all these new recipe ideas. And of course, there's not enough time in the day to watch everybody's videos, but there have the ones that I have had an opportunity to look at just all look wonderful. And ladies, you're all doing such a good job on your videos. So I'll see you next time. I'm feeling a little sore here. I think I might've got a little sunburn on that trip of mine. I'm gonna go check it. Bye.